as emblematic as it is symbolic. And in many ways, you are harbingers for a big sum that is coming to this part of the world. And Ghana, if you permit me, plays a critical part in the history of Africa. And I believe that the choice of Ghana was deliberate for that reason. When Ghana, on the sixth day of March 1957, became the first country to begin our continuing battle of exercising the ghost of the curse of Berlin, the founding father of independent Ghana, Kwame Nkrumah, said that until the rest of Africa is free, the independence of Ghana means nothing. And I dare say that that gives meaning to the statement that we must be helped to fight our oppressors with all our mind and might. And we are assembled here to give meaning to those words. The history of the economic regeneration of Africa is not a new one. It has always sat in the inner recesses of the hearts and minds of our forebearers. When Marcus Garvey, those many years, founded the Black Star and told Africans to go back to Africa, he was remembering the need to come back home. He discovered that when you go out there and you imagine that the grass is greener on the other side, the truth is that it is greener on the other side because it has been watered. And we too are now saying that the grass on this side can be greener, but we must water it. And we have come here and our vehicle is ADDI, and in ADDI we have water in it. And we want to water this grass on this side that it may become greener. And I have no doubt in my mind that when we are involved in an initiative such as this, it is important that we remember our history and our history.